Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so a very quick review for you here, folks. I picked this movie up this week. I watched it last night and I was pleasantly surprised by it. And um, I did not expect to enjoy it near as much as I did. And uh, I felt it was only right now to put a video together and share my thoughts on it. And of course, the 4K picture as well. And the movie is 65 now, this movie is a prime example of why I don't listen to critic reviews. Uh, this movie got absolutely panned by the critics. I think it stands at 34% on Rotten Tomatoes. And when I heard the premise of this movie, I just couldn't, I refused to believe that it was as bad as they were making it out to be. Because it's about this man, he crash lands on Earth uh, 65 million years in the past where the dinosaurs still roam the Earth. And, of course, he has to get off this planet. Now, I'm not going to say anything more about this, folks, because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But I think if you can put two and two together, I think you will re uh, realize uh, very quickly why he has to get off this planet. Now, there's a young girl in this movie with Adam Driver, and she can't speak English. And I thought the chemistry between the two of them was phenomenal. Really wasn't expecting that. Really was not expecting it. Adam Driver is at his usual best in this movie. The young girl is very sweet, very charming. And some of the playful moments that the two of them have together, I found to be quite uh, very enjoyable. Some of the, the, some of the highlights uh, of this movie, um, yeah, really took me by surprise. Now, this movie has a budget, a very small budget, considering the movie itself. It has a budget of $45 million. And uh, when you're kind of doing a dinosaur movie with a budget like that, yes, you are... You're limiting yourself to certain things that you can do or show. Now, I wasn't expecting to see much dinosaur action in this movie, considering its budget. But there is definitely enough in there for you to really enjoy it. Yes, the visuals do lack, uh, you know, lack um, certain realism uh, at times. But the ending of it, I thought in particular, looked quite amazing. And maybe they were saving their pennies for that ending. I don't know. But I thought the ending looked quite brilliant. There are some great action set pieces in this mo uh, movie as well. There is some amazing suspense as well. And there was a few kind of little jump scares there that actually got one in particular that really got me. I actually leapt there in my seat when it happened. And uh, again, wasn't expecting that for a movie like this. Folks, if you want to break away from your usual kind of, you know, Jurassic Park movies, dinosaur movies, uh, this definitely does a sp gives it a fresh spin on dinosaurs. And uh, if you're looking for something, like I said, something a bit different, I can't, I can't think of a better movie to sit down and watch than 65. I think you are going to be really surprised by it. Uh, like I said, the chemistry between the two, uh, the two of them are f is fantastic in the movie. Uh, the visuals are lacking sometimes, but I don't think it will ruin your enjoyment of the movie. And it's actually a visual treat to look at. It's just one of them movies. You're going to see so many vistas and, you know, all them kind of beautiful wide shots that you come to expect with a movie like this. And uh, yeah, I can't praise it enough. As for the release itself, as you can see, there is no slipcover with this edition. It is a Sony release. Sony have just given up on slipcovers over here for some strange reason. So if you are looking for a slipcover, unfortunately, you will have to buy it over in the States because I'm almost certain it does come with a slipcover. As for special features, uh, there's a bit in there. There's not much. You got a couple of extended and deleted scenes. And there's a few tickers around two or three featurettes as well. It's not packed, but there is a bit there to enjoy. Now, the 4K picture on this, folks, I have to tell you, is it's a real showcase. Now, it's not what you call a monster upgrade over the Blu-ray. It's just a huge refinement on everything, whether it's fine details, sharpness, contrast, black levels, color. The Dolby Vision colors look, just everything just looks refined. And uh, I think these are going to be <laughs> blown away by what you see, even though it is only a refinement over the Blu-ray, because the Blu-ray looks astonishing. It really, really does. But uh, the 4K does take it a step further. And uh, I thought it just, it, it's exactly what you expect for a movie like this on 4K. It's a, it's a visual treat to look at. The Dolby Atmos on it as well is the, is, is the, real, the real winner of the show here. Uh, there is an incredible sense of atmosphere with this movie. It does, it pounds, and when it pounds, it pounds hard on you. Wait till you hear the spaceship that he's uh, flying at the start of this movie. It's around five minutes into the movie. Wait till you hear the sound coming out. Wait till you get the bass that's coming off it. And actually that gun that he's uh, carrying all during this movie as well. There's a good thump to that gun as well. And uh, yeah, like I said, look, there's not much I can say about the audio on this one. It is absolutely perfect. And if you are big into your audio, I can't think of a better movie to check out 
than 65. Folks, look, I, I, again, I can't, I can't praise the movie enough. I know those people out there that's not going to like this movie. Uh, you know, like I said, the critics were so unbelievably harsh on it. Maybe it's because it has such a small budget. And maybe it was just a little bit kind of, a little, the movie was just trying to be a little bit too ambitious uh, for that budget. But I think in terms of what they actually got out of that money, is uh, quite amazing and I was really really surprised by it and I really do hope anyone that has not seen it out there to give it a go I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by it so there we go folks just a quick review I just wanted to share my thoughts on this movie I just had a wonderful time with it and I hope you do as well so as per usual if you did like what you see here please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and if you have seen this movie Please do share your thoughts on it. I would love to hear what you are going to say out there. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.